Wasn't there wonderful? Wolves in Denver. There's four minutes left. Christian Brown. Oh yeah. I mean, I, Twitter was at saying, "Is this the best white American dunk ever?" Really? Like, respect yeah, that's on Tom <laughs> Chambers' name. <laughs> that's not guys. even top ten. I, I mean, one of the Barry brothers in his stupid sweatsuit, the dunk that, contest. Well, the dunk contest. contest. <laughs> that, yeah. In a game, I like the sweatsuit. I'm trying to think of game dunks. Tom I think Chambers. I Chambers. There's got to be more. Man. There's got to be more than Chambers. That's all we can point to. The Chambers. Thirty years. <laughs> I mean, there's got to be a dunk. Suns at Clippers. The, Game's the Purdue over. dunk. The Purdue dunk yesterday in the, in the <laughs> that, championship game. That we have to go to college. No, I mean, that one was fun. <laughs> that was. Well, Tyler was running around trying to get 40 points. He didn't get it, but Ty Lue got to laugh. Uh, and that's weird and wonderful. Suns win. <laughs> Recent interview with it's Essence. <laughs> Russell Wilson was optimistic about his new team and his goals for the year. Uh, telling Essence to play. 13 years in the NFL has been a dream come true. Uh, to be able to play for Mike Tomlin, stand side by side with him and try to accomplish all the goals that I want to accomplish with the Steelers organization and what that represents for the NFL is one of the greatest gifts in the world. Drew, are the Steelers set up to succeed? Well, Coach, because I give reasoned commentary on you this do. show, you do. I have been named the Russell Wilson guy. Yeah. All I'm doing is saying he was solid last year. Not great. But what, 26 and 9, I think, 26 That's touchdowns? Right. Top five, top six in passer rating. Do you think those he are was solid. fair representations of his play? They were slightly above his play, but still, he was solid. So That's was all I'm saying. Like the eighth or and the Steelers go 10 and 7 with the worst quarterback play this side of the Meadowlands. All right? You throw in Russell, even if Russell, I think he'll be better than he was last year. Mm -hmm. But if he is just what he was last year. The only problem for the Steelers is the division. I mean, the divi it's just who's not making the playoffs out of that division. It's Obviously, Pittsburgh. one or two teams, possibly. But, look, they got a very good defense coach. You got a championship coach. You got you, – you, you always belittle the running backs. Najee Harris, all he does is run for 1,000 yards Najee every Harris year. Najee Harris, not good. Three, uh, all he does every single year of his career, 1,000 yards. Oh, wow. Jalen – then Jalen – Jalen Warren yards had five yards. Imagine Hold on. But because you, you got Jalen Warren getting five yards a carry and splitting time with him. Jaylen so they got Warren running has backs. 1,000 yards the defense for his career. Is they got – he averaged five yards of carry last year. Okay. I was one of the early to the party on Tony Pollard. Mm -hmm. But, you know, that's all. Jalen Warren played well. That's what I'm saying. I know running backs. And, and then, then when the Tony Pollard got his own team, how did it work out, No, buddy? I mean, they, they needed somebody. They needed a, real a running back. Yeah. Okay. They needed right. a media. Okay. That's I their fault. That's Pollard. the Cowboys. No surprise there. George Pickens? George Pickens is one of the most talented. Unhappy. Now, he hasn't lived, lived up to it. Okay. One of the most talented receivers. They draft a good receiver. Then what's not to like okay. about this? Go ahead. Yeah, I, look, I love this move. I love this move. Thank you, so, Coach. 20 more touchdowns it's than Kenny Pickett. 18, better, 18 points higher in terms of the quarterback rating. Another 6% higher in terms of completion percentage. Yep. So you've, you've got that component to it. He's got experience, and, and you may, you know, people may think he's corny or whatever they, however they classify him, but he's got Super Bowl experience. He he's, he's understands how to win. So, so let's look at this in, in combination with Justin Fields. So you bring the two of them together. It costs $5 million yep. for those two guys combined. Can we show this graphic? Four point, it's $4.4 .4 million. Look at the guys making more than Russ and Justin Fields combined. Now, the Steelers could play both those guys. I would have a Justin Fields package. I would have a Russell Wilson package. Defensive coordinators have to get ready for both of them. It's really difficult. Justin Fields can come in and do things that, that Russ can't do. And you're, you're only spending $4.4 million on those two no, guys. It's, it's an incredible upgrade yeah. for them. It gives them a chance to win. And now it also gives you a chance to see whether or not Justin Fields yep. can develop and yeah. for you know into something better than yeah. than he's been so far Brilliant. it is an absolute great situation for them huge upgrade so, at 4.4 million it's great dollars. economics there's no question about it the problem is if russ doesn't win the job he can't be on the team yeah. and the re you want to know why brew because we showed you the words 
from the Essence magazine cover story. We didn't show you the pictures. I thought the so pictures were awesome. So the sexiest I, I, man of the okay, moment? Okay, well, I just think because mean? Coach, oh, I'll show it to you, Coach, because it really doesn't seem like the type of thing that you that's support cool. from Love your, that. hold on, that's wait, cool wait, wait, that wait a second, oh, no, guys. I have that suit. No, wait, can I be serious for a moment? These are cool pictures. We have heard about Baker Mayfield when he was at the peak of his powers doing commercials and how, how much of a nuisance that is in your opinion. Wait a moment, wait how a moment, Super Bowls anyway? wait a moment, hold on. Oh. Wait, oh, how many Super Bowls has Russell Wilson won since the first Obama administration? Give me a break. The, uh, I'm not to take uh, those pictures. No, no, <laughs> this is why Russ has to be the starter. And if he's not, he can't be on the team. Because this guy is not a backup. He doesn't think he is. He doesn't carry himself like he he He's is not open to the idea of it. $1.2 million. I understand, Coach. He, that, but it's, I'm, but it's no, a, I, I hear you, guys. Because guys. you usually don't want a celebrity as your backup. I, I look get at this. that, but here's the, here's the difference, though. Let's say four games in, you go to Fields, and he's worse yeah. than Russ over the next five games. But knowing the Steelers, you're still in the hunt. Uh-huh. I would keep Russ just because maybe we'll throw him back in there. But he's You're not playing both. No, I'm yeah, no, we what, what options does Play he have? Play both guys. All right. I'm, that that guy right doing? there is not doing a quarterback timeshare. Yes, he's, he's, out admit, he's out there Nick? thinking. In 10 short minutes, it's the Bud List. But right now, it's afternoon headline sponsored by Dots Sensationally Seasoned Pretzels. Right now, we're looking at vintage video of Tom Brady in beautiful creamsicle jerseys, the practice jersey for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. You'll probably never see him on a football field again. Or maybe you might. Here he is on the Deep Cut podcast with Vic Blends. Take a look at this idea from you, Brown. We get it. You're 100% retired. Yes. Let's say one day there's a situation, right? Maybe it's the 49ers. Maybe, you know, head into the playoffs. Offense is great. Patriots. Somebody, could be somebody, somebody. Raiders look, could be. You never know. God forbid somebody goes down. Would you pick up that phone? I'm not opposed to it. If they would, I don't know if they're going to let me if I become an owner in the NFL team, but I don't know if, uh, I don't know. I'm always going to be in good shape, always be able to throw the ball. So to come in for a little bit, like MJ coming back, um, I don't know if they let me, but I wouldn't be opposed to it. I mean, I'm feeling great. <laughs> and I should be fair, because now that I've heard it again, he said to come in for a little bit, like MJ coming back, and I said, you don't want to be MJ with the Wizards. So he's talking about, I think, maybe MJ. The, so, he, so I guess that would mean, four like, five. Four he five. throws a 45. pick six in round two oh. uh, to lo- lose oh, okay. in the playoffs. I don't know who the Nick Anderson version in the NFL is, it but it doesn't totally matter. Different. The point remains. Yeah, totally uh, coach, I found a lot of this fascinating. The fact that he offered up the Patriots – is really noteworthy because I, for me, the idea of a Brady comeback has always been threading the very small needle of team in contention, quarterback goes down, a Flacco situation, but with a better team. Then you know what I mean. That if yeah, then uh, that the Niners, a team, you know what I mean. And the Niners, one of the best teams, but just because he'd been attached to them, and he comes in, he throws the Patriots out there. I don't think. He believes the Patriots are a Tom Brady away from contention as much as he believes in himself. Uh, that, you, what? Yeah, I'm, I'm more with you, the, Wilds. The, and, and I'm Tom again, Brady. I'm the GOAT, dude. I, anywhere I, I go, I make it work. Well, I, and I'm not limiting him to coming back for the last five games of the regular season if somebody gets I'm at, When he throws out Patriots, they're not getting to the playoffs without him. And I'm so I, I'm when I think Patriots, I'm thinking, oh, he's there for the season. And then they go get a Marvin Harrison Jr. with the draft or whatever. And that defense obviously knows Mayo. I, I, I don't think it's a Joe Flacco situation. I think yeah, it's like has, a whole has season. Has he ever said anything even close to that? Like I thought last year he was going to play for the 49ers. I thought he was definitely coming back and playing somewhere last season. And I was really surprised when he didn't. But the fact that he says that as definitively as he says it, and he throws out the Patriots, imagine if he goes back to the Patriots and suddenly they have success again and the whole, like, Belichick versus Brady argument, what that means. But I could see him come every year. There's a team in contention and maybe every other year and someone gets hurt late and then they have a backup quarterback. So you think he would wait? I I could see that happening as well. Either or. Maybe. 